this video helps explain the mitosis and meiosis lab with the sections on onion root tips and whitefish blastulas. The purpose of this lab is to learn the stages of mitosis and cytokinesis in plant and animal cells, and then later you'll calculate the percentage of a day that a cell spends in each stage of mitosis and cytokinesis. You'll be able to describe meiosis and describe what the chromosomes are doing at each stage of these processes. Now some of this is covered in other videos, this will just focus on the root tip of the onion and the whitefish blastula. So from this diagram in this picture, we can see that roots grow out of the bottom of a common onion with the binomial name Allium sepa. If we view a slice of a prepared onion root under a microscope, it reveals the many individual cells. The dark spots are the nuclei of the cells, including the chromosomes primary genetic material. A diluted solution of methylene blue is one common indicator dye used to reveal cellular structures such as DNA. At high resolutions, the different phases of mitosis are revealed. You should take some time and discuss what it is about a root tip that makes it a useful place for observing mitosis. You should ask yourself, why are cells dividing so much at the tip of a root? Then in this lab, you'll identify the phase of mitosis of each separate cell. Here you could see that cells are going through the first stage of mitosis, prophase, where the chromosomes condense. They go through metaphase, where the condensed chromosomes are meeting at the middle of the dividing nucleus. At anaphase, the separate chromosomes are being pulled apart. At telophase, the cell is almost finished dividing and we almost have two new cells with their own individual genetic material. And remember, most of the time, a cell is in interphase where the chromosomes are not condensed and the cell is just doing the uh, uh, activities of the cell. You'll notice that in these pictures, each cell is not crystal clear. It's not actually abundantly 100% clear for every cell. And that's because science is a messy process. The need for large amounts of data helps us create a clearer, more statistically dependable model of what the cells are going through. So it takes a lot of research to reach conclusions. It isn't just done with one onion root tip. Different labs may require different steps, but typically you'll observe these cells in an onion root tip and label the different phases of mitosis that you see. Here's another helpful diagram of the plate phases in the plant cell, which was this onion root tip. Then we can see an animal cell in contrast to the plant cell, which was the onion. White fish can describe any number of species of edible fish. This one is the Corygonus whitefish. Now, within the whitefish, when they reproduce, we have a blastula. The blastula is a stage of early development after conception, but before the growing animal has taken on the shape of a, a baby or a growing whitefish. It is basically a ball of growing cells. So we can see the blastula as part of the early development of a whitefish in this diagram. From that, if we stain a blastula, within the blastula the cells are dividing at a high rate. This process is what leads a single zygote cell to grow and divide into the trillions of cells of a mature adult. Hematoxylin and eosin stain are common dyes used in staining animal tissues like this. The hemotoxylin stains the nuclei a purplish blue, and the eosin stains the extracellular matrix and the cytoplasm pink. So that brings out these structures that would be hard to visualize otherwise. Just as with the onion root tip, you'll observe and label the different phases of mitosis you see across the cells in a whitefish blastula. You might see things such as interphase, 
where the chromosomes are not very condensed or very visible. You might see little dark areas that are the nucleoli where the RNA is being transcribed. Then in prophase, you can see the dense chromosomes in this picture of a white fish blastula. Those chromosomes consist of the sister chromatids joined at the centromere. Then in metaphase, you'll see the chromosomes are lying at the equatorial zone or the middle of the dividing nucleus. And then in anaphase, you'll see a cell where the sister chromatids have separated. As these new individual chromosomes, they are moving along the spindle to the opposite poles of the newly forming nuclei. Then finally, you may see some cells in telophase and or cytokinesis. Here, the chromosomes have arrived at their destination and the cells begin to pinch off from each other. Now remember, in animal cells like this white fish, their cells lack cell walls. And so there is no cell plate formation as you would see in a plant cell like the onion roots. So, this has been an overview of the mitosis and meiosis lab where you look at onion root tips and white fish blastulas as places where a lot of cell growth is happening and hence a lot of mitosis is happening. Then within that you can see examples of the different phases of mitosis using these stained or dyed cells. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.